Up next on Book TV, a visit to the National Press Club's annual book fair in Washington, where author Thomas Reston spoke about the future of the Democratic Party. And now on Book TV, we want to introduce you to author Thomas Reston. Mr. Reston, what's your background? I've been all over the lot, but I'm a partisan Democrat. I've been up to my roots in politics, uh, but I'm also a civil rights guy, and I started off as a journalist, a uh, newspaper guy. And uh, I'm a Democrat, but I've got questions about the party. I think it's been wandering around an awful lot in the last generation. And so I've written a book about the soul of the party and have the Democrats lost their soul and what do they need to do to get it back. It's a cheerful, optimistic book about politics. Now, what makes you a Democrat and what do you think the Democratic Party's soul should be? I think the soul of the party uh, is in its uh, core ideals and not in the details of its policies. So these big pillars of the democratic faith, things like the fight for the outsider and uh, the, the individual and uh, respect for ideas and economic security for all these organizing principles of politics. I think that's what the Democrats need to return to instead of getting all tangled up in uh, footnotes of their legislation and that sort of thing. I think, I think people are I think uh, they need to show the American public that they're more dependable. That they, you know, when I was a young man getting into politics, I used to ask people why they were Democrats. And people used to say right away, well, they're for the common man, they're for the little guy. But, you know, you don't hear that kind of thing as much as you should anymore. And I think they have to get back to it. Can a party have a, a soul? Yes, oh, I absolutely think a party can have a soul and it inheres in these core values of the party and the Democrats have seven of them and there's a chapter in each, uh, uh, on each of them in this book and they came into the party originally because of a power struggle the Democrats had with their opponents over the meaning of the, of the nation and it set up conversations inside the Democratic Party that they ignore at their peril. Uh, and I think they have been ignoring some of those conversations recently. Mr. Reston, one of the common themes today is that the parties have both moved to the extreme, the Republicans to the right, the Democrats to the left. Do you agree with that? Well, yes, I think that the, the country is divided in half, and I think the Democrats are only trying to find half of the electorate. But, you know, the Democratic Party traditionally has been, a, in, in a way, it's a complete mess. It doesn't really, it doesn't really make sense. And uh, I think the party is wider than its current uh, guys, and I think they have to explore their own roots so that they can make structural strides back into parts of the electorate that have abandoned us, uh, like the white working class and like uh, maybe some of the evangelicals. I think that the party has a good message to tell these people or to give these people, but I think it's obscured its message in the last generation. What's your view of tribalism? Well, I think the country's suffering because of tribalism, and I think the answer for the Democrats is to pick up the mirror and look at themselves and to explore their own roots in American history and, and realize that they have deep roots in the individual and deep roots uh, in the evangelical community and deep roots in the, in the working class. And uh, if they could explore the modern meanings of those parts of their creed, I think they would do much better in politics these days than they have been doing recently. Soul of a Democrat is the name of the book. How would you identify the soul of a Republican? Well, I think they're confused these days. Traditionally, uh, it's been a party that's been dominated by a single interest. And of course, there's uh, different kinds of people in the Republican Party now. and. They have their own political myths, things like, you know, uh, the 
economic opportunity was a Whig uh, invention originally. Uh, so I think there ought to be a companion book to this for the Republican Party. They could use some serious thinking about who they are these days, but I think for me there's enough trouble with the Democrats, and they, we ought to be thinking about ourselves more seriously. Longtime Democratic operative Thomas Reston is the author of this book, Soul of a Democrat, The Seven Core Ideals That Made Our Party and Our Country Great. Thanks for joining us on Book TV. Thanks an awful lot. I appreciate it. Keep an eye out for more interviews from the National Press Club's Book Fair to air in the near future. You can also watch them and any of our other programs in their entirety at booktv.org. Type the author's name in the search bar at the top of the page.